All right, here we are with Brandon's 2000 GT. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. You see it? Yeah, he's got, see, he's got my back. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. Brandon's 2000, I almost said 19, 2000 Mustang GT. Here we go, guys. So you say it only has surface Brandon, rust? say hello. Really? All right. Tell us the backstory on your car. You just told Will he had to run. Oh, well. It's actually quite a beautiful story. Yeah. Uh, well, had it for 13 years since brand new. Got it. Uh, it's a high school car. Uh, parents woke me up one day and with balloons in the driveway. Hey, here it is. Brand new GT. Awesome 16-year-old junior in high school. You know, amazing brand new GT Mustang for high school car. You know, I'm very lucky. Um, Recently, my dad passed away in February of 2013. Uh, my dad's last little wish was to keep the car. I've always bugged him to trade the car in, go get a Cobra, go get something high performance. And uh, when he passed away, it was one of his wishes to have is give it to my son. And uh, we've had it ever since. You know, it's a 13-year-old car. It's been with us for 13, no other owners. And uh, we're, in it, we're here today to get it fixed up and get some of the suspension work done. And eventually, it's going to go to my son, who is five years old now and it's gonna be in our family forever. That's a beautiful story. See, now personally, I've known Brandon for years and years and years and years, and I'm glad now he's here, a client at Mustang Medic, with his beautiful 2000 GT. We're growing. More modern Mustangs at Mustang Medic. Get ready, we got a couple more coming too. There's a teaser for you guys. Remember, thumbs up the videos. All right, Brandon, getting started on your front suspension here at Mustang Medic. All right, Brandon, we got your right front partially torn apart. Your rotor is off. It's right here, along with your caliper bracket and the pads. You're going to need brake pads soon. Probably replace or turn those rotors as well. I always recommend replacing them. I'm going to get in here. You can see your strut is very very dirty it's been leaking for a very long time so i'm glad we're changing those out hey we got the driver's side apart over here springs can come out there's a stock spring we got oh it's back there isn't it where to put oh no it's right here cool that's freaking out i thought i didn't put it where it's the brand new ibox springs that are going in ibox this should lower the car about a half an inch. And we got new struts to put in as well, which Tim has righteously, partially assembled over there. So this is gonna go back together, then we're gonna do the other side, and then we can go on to the back. Come along, real nice, real easy. Real smooth, because we're smooth. Right here, at mustangmatic.com. All right, here we are. Driver's side's all done. Tim and I got this together. Take a look at your beautiful new iBox spring installed and your nice new strut installed. All we gotta do is a sway bar end link, but we're gonna wait till we finish up the other side on that first. Rear springs are in. Here's your old. Very glad that there has been new spring rubbers, isolators because the lowers were broken. Brand new ones in, old shocks about ready to come out, new shocks gonna go in, and then we'll be on our way to the alignment shop as soon as Mr. Tim buttons up the front up there. All right, Tim, what do we got here? Well, front brakes are going back in, gonna tighten up the tire rod ends and the sway bar. All right, and then new we'll struts in, new, see struts new springs. In. That's All it. Alright, looking good, looking good. Good job, sir. At MustangMedic.com. Rear springs are in, new shocks are in. We had to replace the, uh, the little bump stop on the pinion snubber because these are lowering springs, but that's two second operation. All good. Um, this thing will be ready to go to the alignment shop in. Jeez, about 10 minutes.
Frustration out of restoration.